Fitted to Jamie's Defender to take care of trailer braking is the Red Arc Tow Pro. It's a revolutionary brake controller that features two types of braking, automatic or, or inertia sensing and user controlled or manual braking. Now the Tow Pro is what we call a remote head brake controller where the base unit goes in behind the dashboard, you never have to see it. All that you see on the vehicle dash is the little remote head and that's where all of the control or the input that you have is uh, controlled for the unit. It's the only brake controller on the market that, that is ADR21 compliant, which relates to the height of the protrusion and the material that it's made from on your dashboard, so it's safe to have in the occupant's area. The Tow Pro works in automatic mode by sensing how hard the vehicle is braking. Automatic mode is indicated by the LED being blue in the back of the knob there. So I have a brake pedal here, I can simulate applying the brakes in the car where when I brake with the vehicle, the vehicle brakes and generates inertia. The Tow Pro senses how hard that vehicle's braking and applies a proportional amount of braking to the trailer to suit that application at the time. And we can also dial down or dial up less or more braking force depending on the weight of our trailer. But essentially, if you brake hard and fast, so does the Tow Pro and so does the trailer. If you brake soft and slow, so does the Tow Pro and so does the trailer. Meaning that the whole vehicle and trailer system all brakes as one and you get a nice smooth pro progressive braking. The user control mode is really great for off-road applications where inertia isn't necessarily the best way to detect braking force. To enter uh, user controlled mode, we stop the vehicle we set the controller to zero, we put our foot on the brake and double tap. The LED is now green. User controlled or manual mode is purely triggered by the brake lights. As soon as the brake lights come on, the trailer brakes come on to the set level that you have set on the control knob and it does not consider how hard the vehicle is braking. So if we look at a soft beach sand type uh, driving situation, if we brake hard on soft sand, the vehicle bites into the sand. So what we don't want to happen is the trailer to bite into the sand as well or, or else we'll be anchored there. So what we can do is we can have a very light amount of trailer braking force applied. So you can brake as hard or as soft as you want on the vehicle and the trailer will just glide to a stop on the top of the sand. Likewise, if you've got a steep rocky descent that you want to do and you're going to be using low range first gear with the vehicle, the engine's going to be doing most of the braking. We don't want to have to brake hard in order to brake the trailer hard. So we can dial the Tow Pro right up, just touch the brakes on the vehicle to bring the brake lights on, and you can set more or less trailer braking force for that steep descent. Another feature is that you can actually push the knob itself in order to brake the trailer independent of the vehicle and also bring on the vehicle and trailer brake lights. In user controlled mode, it comes on to the level that you have set. In manual mode, if we return to it by setting to zero, foot on the brake, double tap, the override goes on to a level that equates to a, a soft braking on the trailer and the Tow Pro actually feels how hard the trailer is braking and regulates the amount of pressure to make sure the trailer is pulled straight behind the car if it gets a bit of sway, say if you've gone past the semi-trailer or something like that on the highway. So that's the Red Arc Tow Pro. If you'd like inf more information, visit your local Red Arc installer.